<sighs> Hello everybody, it's me, Lindsay Rogers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to tell you two stories that I hope you guys can understand. Because of the situation going on right now, I hope you guys can understand. But, I really want to tell you guys these two stories. That I'll, one of them was bad and one of them was good. And let's just say how crazy it was with the bad one. Because let's just say, hey, I had to dealt with a rude classmate. Hey, who was rude to me and got racist to, a, a, and to another. And almost got uh, mean to another. There, through almost getting jumped at school, actually community college. Anyway, let me tell you this story, and then I'll tell you the good one. So this has happened about more than ten years ago. So it's like more than a decade ago. Um. I was in my second year in community college, and I had this classmate. Now, she was way worse than I was. I mean, even though I probably am bigger, because I was taller than her, she was shorter, she was a little more rounder than I was. So, but, um, and by the way, if you think I'm just body shaming myself or her, Sort of, but, you know, it's just how it was in comparison. <laughs> <coughs> but, but what she did was very wrong towards and to my two classmates, who were my friends, and to me. What happened was, well, <laughs> this gets a little crazy. So, about one day... At lunch, I just got out of the cafeteria, and my classmate and friend named Sam, we're going to refer to Sam, she told me that because she had to move all my stuff over as well as her stuff over, and I asked her what happened. She told me that she got hit. And she was called an S word, and it's and even and the reason why is because Samantha is from Puerto Rico, and she's when and you don't call this to anybody who's Hispanic, Latin, Latino, Latino, Latina, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. But she called her this S word, I and she told me it was derogatory. I'm like. She said that to you? I'm like, oh my god. I didn't know that was a word. And I didn't know that was mean. But she said it was. I'm like, jeez. Not only that, she also... She also got in tr She almost got in trouble. Because another classmate, who, by the way, is black. Um, what happened was... She hung up to a bunch of uh, black uh, students... In this community, somewhere I can't remember. Actually, it was a, excuse me, it was an area before they had to change it to something else, which I was kind of mad about. But they had to, because it was the revamping re or something like that. Anyway, she told, she told, she said to those, she said to those black students the N word. And my classmate heard that her saying that she pulled her right over and said that she had to apologize to them, to, to the other black students. And then she told her not to say that. that. That so, so because of that she said the N word, she said the S word, and then what she did to me was very rude. And I don't know why she would do that, but what happened was. As we were eating um, our lunch, there was this kid, kid, he was, kid um, which, by the way, he didn't look 
he was not that kind of handsome or anything. He came up to me, gives me a fake phone number. I was like, uh, uh, what? I'm like, why would somebody would do that? And then my friend took it at the one who the classmate called her the S word. And she's from Puerto Rico. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, her name is Sam. Um, she took the phone number. She called it. Turns out it was a suicide hotline. I'm like, what? Why would she do that? And I was like, what is wrong with her? I mean, is she because she, I was trying to figure this out. And even though, to this day, I may understand knows why. I think she was being so rude, dude. And she thinks that, you know, she wants me to be on her side. So I can be rude and racist towards those, towards those two. And I was like, not going to happen. But we found, yeah. And, and how the heck did my friend Sam found out? She ends up asking the kid told her to give her to give who told him to give me the fake phone number. He pointed out it was her. So we had no choice. We had to tell the we had to tell somebody. We went to our um we had to go speak to those who were in charge of this pro of the program and after what we told one of them, who told her, her uh boss her boss, she decided to no choice but to kick her out. Uh, she kicked, she tried to, um, because of what she did, she tried to, she, she tried to get, she almost got, she said the N word that my, that my friend had to hear. I forget her name, but understand she was, she's black, okay? I think her name was, uh, I think her name was uh, Micah. I can't remember. I'm sorry. It's I've been, I only somehow remember Sam's name. Ugh. Because I just want to say that we bonded over because of bro wrestling. So. And she calls Sam the S word. And she hit her. And then she gives me a fake suicide hotline number. And just because I'm friends with these two, and I'm not friends with her because of it. So, because of that, she got kicked out of school. And it it was, it was, it was, it was bad enough how she did that. I mean, for, I mean, and even though it was worse, she ended up trying to call, find my phone number and she tried to call me and I kind of ignored her because she shouldn't be calling my house and I don't remember if I ever gave her the phone number because I don't think I did but she found my house phone number and I was just very upset about that and, but she just I think the reason why is because I think she wanted me to be me be her friend and also be racist towards the others? I'm like, I don't think so. So, yeah. What she did was unforgivable. But, but in the end, she ended up getting booted out of, out of the, she got booted out of the program and she got booted out of the, out of community college because of what she did. <sighs> anyway, now let me tell you this good story. This is starts a little sad and then gets good. So what happened was, this happened when I was in Kingsway, and it's in um how to say this? It's in Camden County. Um, and it's like a thirty-minute drive. Because, you know, <laughs> so, and even though if you were trying to look for it, there's two Kingsways. One goes to one of them is actually a, a high school. Oh, 
And I thankfully I didn't have the chance to see that, but if I did, I, it 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 would be not much, much I don't know, good enough or bad enough. But then there's the other school because that's where I was. So I've been that school for three years. So around my second year, and this happened about twenty one years ago. My friend. And who his name is Donald, and he was, and yes, he is black. Um, we've been friends since my first year, and it was my second year, and he was, and it's his uh, final year, year at Kingsway, and he was a graduate, so I was proud for him and happy for him, but at the same time. It got a little sad because he told me that his parents won't be there because his brother was graduating. And he was hoping that maybe they would come, but it was really, really kind of sad. Because what happened was, the day of the graduation, neither, I don't think neither of his parents were there. I was really upset. I was like really upset that his parents didn't came because his brother was graduating, and they prefer his brother's graduation over his. I mean, there were two parents. Why can't one go to one and the other one goes to the other? You know what I'm saying? Ugh, <laughs> oh, I felt sorry for him. So I said that like almost like a surrogate sister to him and kept him company. Hey, and I'm. And I said to him, you know, this is kind of sad that your parents didn't come. I'm like, he was hoping they would, but, or one of them would. <coughs> but they prefer his, they ended up going to his brother's school. And I was really upset that happened. And because of that, you know, I kept him company, you know, a good friend. So, later on that afternoon... After the graduation ceremony ended, most of the students who graduated went home with their parents, except for Donald. So he said, you know, we decided to have lunch together there, and you know, then our teacher decided to do this little, decided to do this award ceremony, and my teacher saw what I did as an act of kindness. She gave me an award for keeping my friend in company. I was like, really? I deserve this? My God. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, apparently my my teacher was very, um, very thoughtful of, of thinking what I have did and for, a, for a friend and classmate because his parents... Decided to go to his brother's graduation over his. I was really, even though I was so upset his parents didn't come. But I came. I I was there for him. I kept him company. I did the best as a classmate and a friend. Teachers, my teacher saw that. She gave me the award, and I was thankful they did. And when I came home that day, I told my mother what happened. She couldn't believe it. <laughs> but yeah, what happened to my friend and was really upsetting that his parents did not decide to come because they'd rather be at his brother's graduation. And, and after that was over, I hadn't seen him until probably my last year. And apparently he came with his... Apparently what happened was my teacher, my gym teacher, decided to plan this off. Um, bring in uh, students from another school. And turns out he was in that school. Oh, and was part of the soccer team. I was like, cool. So, I had to glad to see him again. <sighs> Until I had to grab... Just for a day. 
and then that was it. I graduated. I had to go to another school. Spent five terrible years there, there, and until I decided to go, until I decided I'll go graduate back home where I belong in Borden Town. <laughs> so, yeah, I finally had a chance to graduate and like a normal student would, but I know you guys are saying, Lindsay, you're, you're that old, but you graduated after your brother? And I'm like, yeah, it's true, but it's because of New Jersey laws. <laughs> Which I'll explain in another time, but <sighs> of course the funniest thing is I graduated the same school, same I was in the same class as this, um, as <laughs> this, um, kid named Jasper, who's, um, I think his father was a, is the, uh, reverend, and, and, yes, I'm gonna say this, by the way, he's also black as well. Anyway, he was, he was a, and plus he was a trumpet player, almost better as my brother is. Actually, they were both uh, at the best, to tell you the truth. But uh, he was a year below my brother, so yeah. <laughs> so there, I give you at least three stories. Sorry, I said two. There's three. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you do, please hit that like button down below. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure notifications are definitely turned on. And I'll see you guys again soon. Until then, bye.